On today's Blogger Project, we have another great design from Jody Rackley at loverevolutionary.blogspot.com. She's made this great woodland crown. We use felt as the base, but you could even not use flowers or leaves from the outside. To make it, all you need are a few scraps of felt, some scissors to cut things out, maybe a little bit of ribbon, some embroidery floss, and some glue. We're gonna start off by making the base of the crown using this felt. And you can freehand it if you want, or we'll have patterns on our website. And I'm just adding a pin to kind of keep it still so I can cut it out. Now, if it were me, I would say we should go out for a nature walk and collect some leaves so that we can get inspired for what to put on next. So after you cut out your two layers of felt for the base, we're gonna go ahead and make some feathers and whatnot. Here again, we've got a template, but feel free to cut things freehand or draw shapes on felt because, you know, it's your project. You get to do with it what you want. So once you've gone ahead and you've cut all your little pieces out, we're going to glue them on using just a little bit of white glue. And what's nice is that the felt kind of grabs so you don't even need a pin or anything to hold it together. You're also going to want to glue the two portions of the crown together. It'll give the base a little bit more stability and make it a little bit nicer on your forehead. Okay, so once we do that, we're also going to want to add a ribbon so you can tie it around your head. Now for this part, I like to use a little bit of embroidery floss and a needle. And all you have to do is make a little knot at the end and a couple of stitches. You can make them fancy if you want or you can make them simple. And actually, if you get really inspired with your needlework, you can go ahead and add a few embellishments onto the crown and the leaves, maybe um, stitch in the veining or add little things like that. Just a couple of stitches though will keep it all secure so that when you're out triumphing through the forest or holding dominion over the fairies, your crown stays firmly in place. So let's take another look at the finished piece. Here we've got four different kinds of feathers and she used scraps of felt just glued on to make the veining and then those pretty leaf shapes. But again, you could glue on sequins or beads, anything that you like to make your crown special and your own.